What is up, guys? Pie Muffin here. We are back with our Tales of the Rays video. We have the four previews for the Mirror Jars here on YouTube. Uh, they just posted them a little bit ago. Uh, so we're going to go through them real quick and just kind of see what they all do. We obviously, I think the order I have them pulled up in is Raid, Shizel, uh, I think Merity is last, which means Ferris should be third. The last two I'm not too sure about because I just kind of pulled them up all at once. But first one is definitely Raid. I also heard a rumor, someone can either confirm or deny this for me, um, that Raid's Overray can counter Shizel's uh, Mirror Chart. I don't really understand how that would work, but uh, if that is the case, someone can let me know down below. Um, but let's go ahead, let's hop in and let's see what Raid's looks like. Whole bunch of slashes. Okay. It's pretty cool. It's very, um, I'd say it's very cinematic, you know, with all the different angles you see him slashing at. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so that's cool. So you are able to kind of hit everybody with that as long as they're kind of in a straight line from you. Um... So that'd be a mirror jar I feel like would be very useful. Like, if you start a boss fight, like, for example, if you played the Spirit Gear event, all three of those big bosses at the end of the 40 AP stage usually kind of stayed grouped together in the beginning. So spamming a group mirror jar like that right away would be a good way to kind of hit them all at once. So that'd be something good for that. Um, let's look at what uh, Sheezles looks like. I haven't played Eternia myself, so I don't know much about Sheezel. Oh, boy. Okay, it looks like they get knocked to the ground after. So it literally just looks like it hits everybody on the map. Uh, let's look at that one more time. Literally just hits everybody, it looks like. I don't know if there's actually... Because that's pretty far. Like, you look at the distance from here to here. That's a pretty big distance. So it doesn't really seem like... There's any range for this move. It just kind of hits everybody. So that's pretty cool. Normal mirror art, so no added effects there. Uh, yep, this next one should be Pharah. Okay, it's defense down. We already saw that in the beginning. Ooh, that's cool with the little, uh, was that like a fire dragon kick at the end? I haven't played Eternia, so I don't know too much uh, about Eternia myself. So those kind of look like dragons. Um, so that's pretty cool. I actually want to, let's see a closer look. Okay, we have to go all the way back here to see it. Yeah, it almost looks like a fire dragon's kind of circling around. That's pretty cool. And then lastly, we have Merity. Let's see what Merity's looks like. Looks like it might be a heal. Um, I'm not really sure what that did. Okay, it is a heal. You can see it right there. It is a heal. Uh, definitely. So that's not bad. Here's the only thing with Merity. So for me personally, so let me just go over who I have stuff for. I have nothing for Raid, no Mirror Jarts. I have no Mirror Jarts for Farah. I have double Mirror Jarts for Merity. I actually pulled her Wedding Mirror Jart twice when it first came around because I was chasing Estelle so hard. Speaking of Estelle, this is kind of off topic, but I want to mention this here. So... I was finishing up my farming last night for the Spirit Gear event because I only needed 10 more shards for Estelle. And ironically enough, I get those last 10 shards. I hadn't cashed them in yet to get her uh, Spirit Gear to stage 3. But what I did do is I used, I had two tickets left to do uh, single summons for, uh, for the Spirit Gear event. The first ticket gave me Estelle Spirit Gear. After all that grinding and all the summoning I did, I got her. So I have her at four star, or her spear gear is now level four. So that was actually really uh, hilarious and kind of frustrating because I wouldn't have had to farm as hard if I had gotten it earlier. But oh well, it's at four now, so it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, so for Merity, I have double mirror jarts. I don't need anything for her. So knowing my luck, I probably will pull something for her, but... I have both of her mirror jarts at 70, so unless I pull this new mirror jart two or three times, it's not going to have much use to me. I'll still probably put it at the front because having a healing mirror jart is nice, uh, especially for green teams where healing is kind of scarce um, because all you really have, Estelle has a new heal. Well, her five star turns into a heal, um, and then Ruby is probably the best healer right now alongside Merity. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So priority wise, I would say Raid is probably my top priority, then Farah, then Sheezel, and then Merity last, just because I already have double mirror jarts for her, so it's not a necessity to uh, get that kind of stuff for her. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think down below. What are your priorities for this banner if you are summoning? Like I said, I'm not going crazy on this banner uh, for two reasons. One, I feel like December is going to have some stuff I really want because I Sheena's seasonal has to be around the corner. Um, and then I obviously, I feel like if Sheena gets something, it's probably going to be Symphony related. So we'll probably get like Regal, Genus, and Rain getting actual, uh, seasonals. Um, and the other reason is my green teams are already super stacked, even though it's not Eternia related. So it's not like I really need Eternia stuff, uh, that bad just to have a good green team. Cause my Vesperia characters are super, super stacked, especially Yuri. Um, but like I said, let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.